Have you been doing research in Ospio for a long time, Rita? Yeah, I guess about five years. Five years? Wow. Rita, how old are you anyway? I'm 15. W wow, y you're so grown up. I can't believe you were researching Blastia at 10. It's not a big deal. How old are you, Estelis? Oh, um, I just turned 18 this year. Time to grow up. Right. I'll do my best. So this is Emmied Hill? Yeah, but... That's weird! The barrier's gone! You mean there was a barrier here? There was when I came before! Sort of a waste to have a barrier in a place with no people, if you ask me. Are you sure you aren't mistaken? I'm pretty familiar with the barrier locations, but here... You just haven't heard about this one. Nan told me it was only put here recently. Who is Nan, Carol? Huh? Uh, she's... Uh, you know, she's just a friend from my guild. I I'm gonna go see if I can find anything out. I think I'll have a look myself. Alright, never mind us, guys. I'm not gonna go look for them if they get lost. Shall we, Yuri? Hey, no outsiders allowed! Let me through! I'm Rita Mordio of the Imperial Blastia Research Laboratory. Oh, you're a mage from Ospio. Excuse me. Oh, but you can't just do as you please. Let me go and ask the... <laughs> I could use some of her attitude. I think you have plenty already. Like, bam! A spear went thunk, the Blastio went bang, and he flew off into the sky like whoosh! Who did what? How? Huh? Someone riding a flying dragon threw a giant spear at the Blastia! And then just flew off! A human riding a dragon? No way! I've never heard of anything like that before! That's what I thought too, but a bunch of people here saw it happen! They say it was a dragon rider. A dragon rider? <laughs> well, the world's just full of surprises. Hey! What do you think you're doing? Let me go! There she goes again. Something is definitely strange with this Blastia formula. There's nothing strange at all. Perhaps you are... Just who do you think I am? I'm well aware of who you are. The famed genius mage, correct? But surely there are some formulas that even you aren't familiar with. You can't use a weird formula like this. Think of the poor Blastia. Hey, stop gawking and help us catch her. Fire! Hey! Fire! What's with that kid? A fire? I don't hear anything or smell anything. Hey, you little liar! Crap! They caught on that fast? 
Hey, you were with that kid. Wait a minute. You, there's a warrant for your... It's now or never. Ugh, you little... Hey, wait! I'm sorry. Hey, stop goofing off and help catch that kid! Damn! Whew, looks like we lost him. <sighs> Rita, you should really think more before you act. That barrier Blastia was just so strange. I couldn't help myself. Strange? Something fishy about it? I have a feeling that may be an understatement. Well, our hands are already full as it is. So could you please keep us out of it? It doesn't concern you regardless. Yuri Lowell! Where have you run off to now? Hey, Mr. Famous. Sounds like you've got a fan out there. Again? Well, that gives a new meaning to the word workaholic. Lady Esteles? I say, do come out of hiding. You guys have a lot of problems. Just who are you, anyway? Um, well, I'm... Yuri! Come out! Come out wherever you are! You can talk about that later. Whoa! Wait! Wait! It's me! Ah! Carol! Don't frighten us like that! Anyway, let's get our butts to Nor Harbor before things get any more complicated. Which way were we supposed to go again? Let's see. As the crow flies... Isn't this a beast trail? <laughs> can we really go through here? We'll go as far as we can at least. I don't want to get captured again. We'll need to be on the lookout for monsters then. Eh, what are one or two monsters to the brave Captain Carol? Yeah, that's right. Though if the barrier were up, we wouldn't have to worry about monsters at all. Oh, I can't stand it. Why does some idiot have to go around breaking Blastia and making our lives difficult? Still, I noticed you keep looking in my direction. What's up? You don't mind if I ask? All 
All right. Well then, here goes. This man. Are you in love with her? <coughs> Nan is a girl's name, right? Is she the girl you wanted to show Halur's flowers to? Ah! No! No, no! You got it all wrong! I do? Man, she'd be so angry if she heard you say that. Carol, good luck with her. I'm rooting for you. Uh, yeah. Well, thanks. That's encouraging. I didn't know flowers like this grew in the mountains. Rita, don't touch it. Inhaling billy-bolly leaf pollen can lead to vertigo and strong feelings of exhaustion. Hmm. Hey, what are you... Whoops, sorry. Carol, are you okay? You're interested in healing arts? Nah. It's no use. Healing arts don't work on this. We'll just have to wait until he recovers naturally. How long will that take? Carol, be strong. Ugh, Rita, you're terrible. I said I was sorry. If you're all right, then let's go. Let's be careful to stay away from the Billy Bolly Lee from now on, okay? Man, some people have some weird hobbies. I mean, who goes around destroying Blastia? I wouldn't really call that a hobby. If we ever come across whoever's doing this, I'll destroy him! But what if he has some reason for what he's doing? They can have any reason they want. Destroying Blastia is unforgivable. Period. No! Oh, my, my neck! My neck! No! No! Help me, Yuri! Eh, that'd take effort. Just play nice with each other, kids. Estelle! Um, do your best, Carol. You want revenge? Bring it! This one's strong! Get ready for any... It'll be a hundred years before you can beat me. Because you've lived a lot longer. Sorry, 
if I hurt you. There's no way you could win. Red Eyes, Knights, why can't we just have a nice, fun, relaxing trip? You're one to complain, Yuri. Yeah, weren't those knights calling your name? But you're the one who was fighting with the mages, Rita. Please, everyone, we're okay, aren't we? I actually think it's kind of fun. If you think being chased is fun, you're gonna love the rest of this trip. Yeah, you may have written off what just happened, but we're still fugitives! Guess we can do this. was a pretty big commotion over breaking a single barrier, Blastia. I don't know. It seemed like the commotion Rita caused was even bigger. Stop bringing up trivial details! Of course people would be upset. It was a barrier, Blastia. Blastia are intertwined with almost every aspect of people's daily lives. Good point. Things got really crazy back in the lower quarter when the Aqua Blastia broke. I hope they can fix it soon. Yeah, I mean, that's what we're going through all this for. Just getting warmed up.
Surely go back and try to attack Halura again. But Halura has the barrier protecting it now. Even so, how are the people of Halura supposed to sleep at night when beasts like this crawling around just outside the barrier? This one's tough.
and they were never heard from again. It'll be a hundred years before you can beat me. Because you've lived a lot. Guess we can do this. Wonderful. Flickering blaze burn. Fireball. That was too easy. Flickering blaze burn. Fireball. We're done. Guess we can do this. I am so gonna make you hurt. We're done. Hmm. Okay, sure.
Can't you be any more of a pain? Just go away! You want revenge? Bring it! Flickering blaze burn! <laughs> 
Almost ready. All right. Holy power. It's too late. First aid. Oh. I'm okay. Oh, oh. Oh, and they were never heard from. Don't get sloppy! How's this? Destruction field! Resound, O cry of victory!
They were never hurt. It'll be a hundred years before you can be... Guess we can do this.
Like this? Yay! What, what was that? Just getting warmed up. We'll finally be able to meet Flynn when we get to Nora Harbor. I get the feeling we'll miss him again. He could be passing by the foot of the hill right now, headed back to the capital. But Flynn left us a letter. I'm sure he's waiting for us. We'll see. Why do we have to take such a convoluted path through this place anyway? It's your fault. How was I supposed to help that? Quit blaming other people and let's get moving. Otherwise, we'll end up missing him for sure. Right. Let's hurry to Nora Harbor. We can't lose! 
Yes. I feel power all through my body. Let's get this over with. Who's this? Take this!
I gotta try and keep up. Resound, oh cry of victory! All right. Just getting warmed up. Hmm. Okay, sure. You want revenge? Bring it! Oh man. All right, all right. It'll be a hundred years before you can beat me. Hey, I learned something. Thank you. 
Easy. Now Halor is safe as well. I don't know. I feel power running all through my body. put up a fight but there could be a dozen more just around the corner no worries seriously well let's just hope there aren't too many more where it came from repeats getting really good at handling items don't you think yeah but I don't want to eat any gels that have been in a dog's mouth <laughs> He said, come on, don't be like that. If things go bad, take it. That's one big mouth he's... Wait a minute. Did he really say that? All I heard him do was bark. Yeah, stick around long enough and you'll figure him out. Right, Repeat? <laughs> <gasps> you look a little jealous, Rita. <laughs> no way. Look, Yuri. It's the ocean. I can see that. The wind feels great. I've seen pictures in books before, but I've never seen it up close like this. Well, people don't usually travel outside the barriers. If we keep going, we can see all sorts of things, like the jungle or the city of waterfalls. There are so many more things we could learn, if only our journey would continue. I guess it's true. I really was living in a small world. That's a rare moment of sincerity coming from you. It's your first time seeing it too, right? Well, yes, but... Aww. You must have had such a lonely life, tied to your research like that. Having you pity me makes me want to jump off this cliff. This water has traversed the world's oceans and has seen all there is to see. The ocean binds the lands of our world together. Here she goes again. It's really just one big puddle, you know. 
Whatever. You were pretty moved back there, too. Huh? <laughs> so this is the world as he sees it. Yuri? Flynn must have stood on this spot earlier. And looked out at the same scene. That's true. His duties do take him to many different places. Always telling me to catch up with him. Easy for him to say. Nor Harbor is just around the corner from Emmett Hill. We'll catch up to him in no time. That's not what I was talking about. Huh? What do you mean? All right, let's get moving before LeBlanc and friends show up again. Just follow the ocean road to the west after leaving here to get to Nor Harbor. We can't miss it. We'll have plenty more chances to see the ocean. Your journey will continue for as long as you want. <sighs> it's all up to you. You've made it this far, haven't you? That's true. Last one down's a rotten egg! You're gonna fall if you don't watch out. Idiot. having to go to an inn. Oh, that's nice. Now you can go off and play Nature Boy whenever we sleep at an inn. And we'll save money, too. W what are you talking about? Camping sets are single-use only. Rita, don't be so mean. Hmm. Huh. That sounds really useful, Carol. Yeah, they're essential when you're on the road. In addition to camping sets, you could also sleep on mats. But camping sets are really the best thing to use. You can't get a better night's sleep with anything else. What wonderful timing. All of you look so exhausted from climbing. You look pretty pooped yourself. Yeah, we've got a ways to go before we get to town, too. Maybe we should set up camp here. All right, I'll get everything set up. Oh, once you've camped somewhere, you won't be able to camp around there for a while afterwards. Why's that? After camping at a certain site, the basic barrier that's included in the camping set will stop being effective for a while, so long as you're near that site. Basic barrier? What's that? There's no Blastia like that. It's not a Blastia, actually. It's just something that gives off a smell that monsters find unpleasant. That's why they call it a barrier. It can keep the monsters at bay for a night. But after enough time passes, the monsters get used to the smell, and it won't keep you safe anymore. Hmm, 
That makes sense. Well then, we'll leave the set up to you, Carol. All right. Let's set up a camp a little bit further. of yours. It's pretty, huh? That's not what I was gonna say. That's nice, but I can do so much more. Oh, I feel so powerful! Let's get this over with. The weather sure changed in a hurry. Let's find an inn before we get soaked! Estelle, what is it? Oh, I... I just thought a harbor town would be more... lively than this. Yeah, this isn't exactly how I imagined it either. But it feels like the kind of place that core thief you're looking for would hang out. Dedeki was headed for Torum Harbor. I'm sure the two are pretty similar. No way. It's only Nor Harbor that's scummy like this. What do you mean? Nor Harbor is... It's all I because of the Empire. What happened to that little brat if you didn't have our money? Please, sir. Not that. Please give me back my son. With this awful weather the last few months, we haven't been able to launch the boats. Surely you realize, sir, we can't hope to pay our taxes like this. You'd better hurry up and capture that Ribgaro beast then, shouldn't you? That's right. If you sell his horn, you'll never have to worry about taxes again. How many times do we have to tell you? Savages. Is that the sort of scum you were talking about, Carol? Yeah. The Empire's influence is really strong here. 
I heard things got even worse with the new magistrate. He's some Imperial big shot who does whatever he wants. Which means there's no one to complain to if his henchmen act like that. <sighs> but how can that be? That's enough! You're hurt! You might even get yourself killed this time! But it's our son! If I don't go... Ah! What are you trying to do? Oh, sorry about that. I didn't see you there. Yuri! My apologies, sir. Let me take care of that. But I... I can't afford this treatment. Don't you have something else to say? Huh? Jeez, you guys been robbed of your manners along with your money? Uh, I'm sorry. Thank you most kindly. <laughs> 